Hello everyone, so I know I've been gone for a hot minute, uh, I usually gloss over it, but I'm going to go ahead and make a video and just level with y'all about what's going on, uh, but for right now, let's just jump back into the MMO series and talk about how online games kind of work. So the way we jump in and play so the way an online game works is there exists a server that holds all the data of the game and then you have the players that log in on the clients so they can run around in oop that was weird but in the server world but basically there exists three copies of this character there exists the one on your computer your client version of the character the one that exists on the server and then for other clients other people that log in they have another copy of this character so the way online works is this your character transmits to this character the data and then anything that's done here is transmitted out to every other client that might be playing so in order to affect changes from your character to the server and then to other characters, we do what's called replication. So I'm just going to bump this up to three players real quick, just so we can kind of... So these are the ser server players, and then or these are your clients, so client one, client two, and then this is the server hub. So let's say, for instance, we want our character to be able to put on a shirt. Now in a normal, like single player game, you would just go add an event. So I'll, I'm gonna add a keyboard event right quick. And then when I press this button, I want to get my shirt socket and just set my skeletal mesh to be something different. Like I'm putting on clothing. We'll just plug that in right there. And then find this pullover, pullover, pullover. There it is. And then that's basically all you would have to do in a regular game. Just set up an equip function, tell it what to equip, and then push the button. There you go. But if I do that here in an online game, it will only happen on my particular client because it's not transmitting to the server and then telling it, hey, this copy of the character needs to put on a shirt. And this copy over here doesn't isn't putting on a shirt. So how do we do that? Well, we do server commands and then multicast commands. So it's not overly complicated, but it is an extra little workaround. So instead of our keyboard event directly setting the skeletal mesh, we're going to add two custom events. So if we add a custom event, and I'm going to call this server underscore add shirt for instance and a lot of people will put rpc and then multicast for the ones that they're using i get confused by that personally so i i use server and then client that way i know which one's transmitting data to the server and then which one's casting out to all the clients just my own little way of doing it so if you have a custom event and you come over here into the details panel with it selected you'll find this right here replicates and we want this one to run on server. So the server is the main hub of the world. So if I plug this in right here, and if I have it to press to one and, well, let's see, let me call that server event too. So now I can jump in and my character will put on a shirt and the server character will put on a shirt but it's not transmitting out to the client so this is where I said like it's got one copy one copy here another copy here and then a third one here so we can tell the server we're putting on a shirt with a server event but if we want to also let me just hang on I'm trying to do this one handed at the moment <laughs> But if we want to also tell our other clients to put on the shirt, what we can do is tell the server, hey, we're going to put on a shirt. Make sure you tell everybody else that our character is putting on a shirt. So if we add another custom event, 
I'm going to call this one client underscore add shirt. And then over here on the replication, this one is going to be a multicast. So that takes all the people who are on the server and sends out the same event to all the other people. So now I can just plug this in to there. And from my server event, I just call my client event. So I press 1 on my character. It tells the server, I'm going to put on a shirt. The server says, OK, he's getting ready to put on a shirt. Let every client know. And since our character is also part of the client, it will be affected by this too. And then it tells all our clients, hey, put on a shirt. And then when we jump out here, I do it on mine. Boom, three shirts just got put on. And then if I do it on this one, there's three shirts. And then if I do it on this one, there's my three shirts. So that's kind of how replication works in an online game. You tell the server what you're doing, and then the server will tell all the clients what to do. Because the server is the king. It rules over all the clients. So, like, if you're going to use animations, you would feed an animation in through your custom event because you can also, your server events can have inputs, and then you would just make sure to have the same inputs on your client events and then whatever you're doing else. So, I know this one's going to be kind of short, and I know I've been gone for quite a while, but I wanted to let y'all know I have not forgotten about y'all, and I do apologize for the delay. Like I said, I do have another video I'm going to be doing very soon to go ahead and go over. I, like I said, I usually gloss over why I take such extended absences, but I'm going to go ahead and just level with y'all um, and share with y'all what's been going on. But for now, this is it. I just wanted to go ahead and jump back in and let y'all know, hey, we are still going to be continuing this, and then I just kind of wanted to talk about how replication and all that works. So hope you found it interesting. I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.